Hickok 45, what are you looking at? Yeah, you're looking fairly close up at a beautiful Colt. The Colt Frontier Six Shooter in 4440. This thing was made in 1887. You can tell by the coin. 1887. Actually, you can tell by the serial number. You've seen it before. It is loaded. I went ahead and loaded it, so that's why I'm holding it uh, down, pointing down range like that. And, uh, oh man, what a piece of history. We thought maybe we'd give you a close-up with this thing, in case I don't have it or something in a month. You never know. I'm, uh, put, I have the potential to trade off anything. You just never know. But this one is be a beauty. Let's, uh, since it's October, I think I'll start with that pumpkin yeah, for some long-range shooting. I wonder if it's going to be smoky. <laughs> I think that answered that. Must be black powder. It had better be black powder because this gun was made in 1887. So let's create a little black, well, no, white smoke and pot smoke. <laughs> oh, man. Let's do that again. Oh, boy. I hope y'all can see the fire coming out of the barrel. Whew. You have to be careful shooting black powder and dried leaves. You might need some water. Maybe I should save that water up there in case we start a fire. <laughs> we'll dampen down the leaves there a little bit. I believe that was four. There's a deep woods empty can. Let's just shoot it. Whew. Boy. You just haven't lived till you've touched off some uh, black powder rounds, large caliber, like this, 44. So, I love it. I love it. I don't love cleaning it, but I love shooting it. But it's a labor of love. You, know, you, can, you can survive cleaning it. Let's put five more in there. She's kind of dirty. been shooting it a little bit. Okay, she's done pretty well. Hadn't locked up on me yet. Load five. Again, we have a video called Should You Load Five or Should You Load Six? If you're asking the question, why did he just load five? It's a good habit to, to get into. All right. I wonder if in 1887 anybody was shooting soft drink cans like that. Whoa, with black powder cartridges. <laughs> I kind of doubt they were. Aluminum soft drink cans. Or, <laughs> or Listerine bottles. <laughs> wow. Was that five or was that uh, four? Well, let's try this pumpkin one more time. Boom. Now it's five. Woo. Oh man, I love this piece of history. It does have an old ivory uh, grip on it that uh, appears to be about as old as the firearm. Back when there were plenty of elephants. <laughs> I, you know, I, I don't know what their laws are on ivory. I know it's something to do with how old it is uh, before you can sell it or trade in it and all that kind of thing. So. But no, this has definitely been around a long time. Those grips have shrunk and cracked a little bit. Really developed a lot of character. Ooh. Man, that barrel is hot. It's one thing, uh, if you didn't know that, black powder cartridges or shooting black powder in general, it's usually not an issue with a muzzle loader as much because you're, you're not firing it as quickly uh, for obvious reasons. But with cartridges and repeaters like this or a uh, lever gun, the barrel really gets hot, much warmer, uh, faster than with smokeless powder. Okay, just uh, I knew a lot of you were wondering about that. What has not been shot? How about that A and W root beer can growing out of that tree? Now he has a 44 caliber hole in him. In that tin can, probably a bean can or a corn can. Woo! Now has a hole in it. I think it needs another hole. <laughs> wow.
<laughs> smoky. Really smoky. Let's put one more in the bottom of it. Wow. Nice. I think, <laughs> I think I have one more round. So let's do a long range shot on that pumpkin. Maybe I can hit the stem. I did. Knocked it right out of there. Let's see if I counted correctly. I did. <laughs> Look at that smoke oozing out of there. All right, I hope you appreciate the history in this thing. And uh, I will do the cleaning for you. All you had to do was watch. You won't believe the mess it involves in getting this firearm back to like new condition. Well, not like new, but like it was when I sat down. Very clean and ready to go at any time. Again, what a beautiful work of art. Life is good.